Yeah. Trevor's is just hardcore. Alright, okay, let's refill our meta gel. And then, uh. Let's go, let's go. We, we gotta go talk to everyone before we go do anything else, yep. so. Yep. I'm glad you're sure. okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Soldier died. <laughs> when your he number up, it's over. He's dead. Exactly. Commander. His number was a one. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, <laughs> though. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. You start... Yes, yes. Totally. You start to enjoy it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Every time you kill, it gets a little easier. <laughs> With all due respect, I'm glad you're on our side. <laughs> He's not talking about the bad guys. <laughs> totally is. Uh, how are you? Oh my God. All right. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen I mean, we're going to be an asshole, but we're still going to be friends. Friendly. A friendly asshole. See my right. Wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Well, if you start killing civilians, you start to get used to it, so... <laughs> right? Maybe you should try. I just um, told you it does get easier. <laughs> um, okay. Um, the mission failed. Oh. Dead Marines. Dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. We didn't get the bacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. Uh, might want to not yeah, right. demoralize her too much, yeah. yeah <laughs> stop right. it. Thanks, Williams. I needed to hear that. I think you're going to fit in here just fine. Thanks, Commander. All right. Uh, I like how I didn't ask uh, the captain why she's here. Because obviously she's here to be the meat shield. Right. He already knows why she's here. <laughs> it's obvious. Yes, Is there something you need? Uh, anything you want to ask her? Um, personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. That's what Jenkins I said. The were yeah. With exotic <laughs> hey, I think her number is two. Tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Not like but humanity she needs has the alliance if um, want to keep expanding to the traverse. And and the alliance always needs good doctors. So I like, on. You're just a soldier and I'm medic. <laughs> right? She's like, I am. Uh, you need me. You need me more than I need you. So, uh, any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But then I get because drunk and forget about it. About working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning. Them. I don't know if you've uh, seen Mass Effect Two, but she has a small drinking problem. <laughs> Okay, investigate. Alright, investigate. Alenko. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself. Meet you. He's alive. Of a <laughs> it's not easy being an L2. I wonder what that medal looks like. An L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Complications? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, uh, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Erectile dysfunction. An eye twitch. <laughs> and he, he can't taste bacon anymore. <laughs> right. He doesn't. He doesn't, his taste perceptions just, just don't accept it. It's <laughs> like weak, water. A weak bladder. <laughs> Alright, uh, <laughs> Captain Anderson or Return? Uh, Return. We don't care about the Captain, we're gonna replace him anyway. <laughs> so, Return. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. You're not important. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Alright. I'm glad to see I'm okay too. <laughs> Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. What are you doing? Is he just staring at a blank screen? <laughs> no, no, no. 
know, it's static. He he hasn't he, he's having a private moment with a static. No, now he's talking to nothing. <laughs> no, you know what? I think he's looking for racist overtones in, in the white noise. <laughs> Or he's giving himself, you know? a pe- or maybe he's giving himself a pep talk. You're a good captain. People like you. <laughs> <laughs> People do not want to replace you. <laughs> All right, let's go downstairs. Let's go sell our stuff to that guy. One thing I like about that computer version over the uh, 360 version, this elevator is a lot faster. Because <clears throat> <laughs> it's slow. Alright. Hey there, buddy. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head up? What have you got? Whatever you want. <laughs> Armor, weapons, mods. Don't let him. It's not what have you got? Alliance issue, yeah. but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I want well, it. I want it all. As long as you don't mind paying for it. Pay you? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. I, I, I did find out, because I used to just go around and buy every license I could, but someone told me if you buy only the good licenses, then you have a better chance of getting the good stuff. So Let's I'm gonna, oh. at some point I'm going to go look up which licenses we want and which ones we don't. Now, since I've completed this before, we have these guns... Unfortunately, we have nowhere near the money <laughs> needed to get them. So, let's sell first. Let's see what we don't need. Um, I don't use Omni tools, so we could sell that, probably. Well, yeah. maybe we should hold on to it, though, in case we'll get characters that do use it. Well, yeah, that can be useful someday. Um, we can sell these, though. You know, the pistol? Old armor. Right, we can, sell, we can sell these, we can sell that one. Uh, assault rifles, shotguns. Uh, let's make sure it's not better. No, it's not better. Don't even use sniper rifles. Uh, motorized joints. Ah, uh, we can sell that. Phasic rounds. Um, phasic rounds aren't that useful. They help shields, but they don't really hurt people that much. Yeah. So, uh, maybe we'll keep that. The weapon stability might be useful. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right, cool. So let's go buy stuff. Um. Still can't afford that thing. Right. Uh, oh, we can we can get the uh, the extra meta gel and the extra grenade. You gonna go ahead and do yeah, that? Yeah, All right. Accept. Accept. Nice. That'll work for now. I like how there's uh, different armors for the different races. So they're basically human and built. Right. But there are not different armors for male female. Although they, uh, they do have actual breasts right. on the armor. There is slight differences between the two. Alright. Alright, so I guess now we just go into the Citadel. Do, 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 do. Running, running, running. Oh, hey, look, experience points. <laughs> Hello, experience points. <laughs> How are you doing, six experience points? Do you want to come into my head, to experience points? Alright. Hey, Joker. Good timing, Commander. Joker. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Hey, hey Joker. We're so serious. <laughs> Quick, go towards the glowing fork thing. Of that ship. The Ascension. 
flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, sizes and everything. Why so <laughs> I'm just saying you need firepower yeah, too. Joking. That's a massive ship. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Well, like how everyone, not just every human, but also every alien speaks English. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. I wonder why he was weaving in and out of those ships. I mean, couldn't he just flown Normandy above them or something? Yeah. Joker's just showing off. Look, Ma, no hands! <laughs> I know, idiot. You feel autopilot. You don't need hands. And... Logically, I mean, you could steer this ship. This is an outrage! Which you almost saw. would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Zeran? You can't just ignore a rogue spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of a castle, Ambassador. Go watch your move. Security <laughs> is investigating your charges against Zeran. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Here, the Expendables has a lot of action. Captain Anderson, nothing I else. you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. Actually, I like the Expendables. In I haven't seen the end, though. I have the mission reports. I, I assume they're target. accurate. They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They so the translation let me made them actually the they don't the like them being accused of treason. Huh. Alright, uh, what do you want? Uh, they're blind. Alright. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize uh, your candidacy. The mission of Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Head. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead oh. and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Yeah, shut up, Udina. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to do serious, serious suspicion that Shepard, Udina is actually the a text-to-speech. Uh, level. He's actually away. Sure you have clearance to get in. He's using text-to-speech. Uh -huh. okay. The conversation isn't natural. Right. So maybe he's modified. <laughs> All right. Um, he's a mole. He's been put here by the council. He's not a real human. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go ahead and end this session here. Yeah. This is a good stopping point, I think. And, uh, all right, then, I'd like to thank you for joining me. And, of course, you're more than welcome to do so again. And uh, we, will. we will get this up. And then, um, thanks. Say hey, bye to the folks. So long, people. And don't come to my channel. <laughs> I, it's for... No, Please that... Do. <laughs> Subscribe. I'll uh, I'll definitely I'll be putting his channel as with every guest channel in the comments, um, so you guys can always check him out and see who you're talking to or who's talking to you. And I will see you okay. guys later. All right, guys, take care. Uh, keep on eating bacon. Yes, eat the bacon. Mm.